Hello again, you guys, and welcome back to My Key Simply Cooks. Today, I'll be doing a crock pot peach cobbler. I have one whole can of peaches, a big can. You can use two small ones if you want. Cake batter, yellow preferably. Cinnamon, and one stick of salted butter. And I have uh, some little brown sugar that I'm gonna add as well. I already put the peaches and the brown sugar and the cinnamon together, and I stirred it up, and I cut up my peaches. You can get them half. You can get them whole, just cut them up, make them small, stir all that up. And then after that, I take my cake batter. Again, I like to use the yellow cake batter. And I sprinkle it around the top of the peaches and make sure I get all of it out. Again, I'm using the one hand method because I'm cooking this at night because I wanted something sweet. So I wanted this crock pot, it's very good, and I know I can use it for tomorrow as well. So now what I'm about to do is take my fork and even it out ever so slightly, making sure that it's kind of even on the entire uh, peach cobbler, because you don't want one side higher than the next, you want it to cook evenly as possible. So I'm just spreading it out to try to get as even as possible. Make sure all the sides is covered on all the peaches. So after this, I'll take my butter that I had cut into slices, one whole stick of salty butter, and I just lay it on top of the cake batter. That's gonna cook the cake a little bit and as it's cooking, the cake is going to kind of seep down and start cooking and start rising to make that crust that you usually get from a peach cobbler. So I'll just layer all the butter out, try to cover it up as much as possible. This is wonderful and I like it. I actually got this recipe from my sister. She made it for me one day and I've just been eating it ever since. So now I'm gonna take a little cinnamon. I like to put cinnamon on top of mine. That's your preference. You don't have to, whatever you like. I don't like nutmeg, so I would not use it. It gives me a headache. But I use the cinnamon. And I'll just cover it up. Once I get all the cinnamon, you know, on there. As much as you want. I just use a little. Cover it up, put it on high, and I'll cook this for about two hours, 2.30 maybe. Then you guys, after it cook, I'll be ready to eat, and it is good, and I'll be back in a second, you guys. Okay, here's my crock pot peach cobbler. I stuck a fork in it because I swear I was about to take a bite. But I'm not gonna do that. So I'm going to just put me some in a bowl for you guys. Just one a little bit, just so you can see what it looks like in a bowl. Now this is amazing and it looks absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.